right San Diego players are incredible. But, oh, all right, here we go. We got uh, Aura and Moki. Aura actually Ooh. just beat a Army yesterday. Okay, okay, I can see. I like give yeah. him a matchup. I don't know anything about Aura aside from, yeah. from I've never that just then. Yeah, I've never heard of him before that. But uh -huh. you know, is he from SoCal? Uh, no, I believe not. Okay, I do not know where he's from. But okay, well, Moki. Moki's coming in hot after a, like excellent performance at Gommel. Yeah, um, Moki's and super amazing. Yeah, I love watching he's been him. grinding too. Like he posts a bunch on Twitter with what he's doing. Yeah, no, he's. He seems like, I'm pretty sure he's pretty solid at this matchup, too. I would imagine so. Like, just a general technical fox. You can yeah. short hop double laser. Plus, like, we're going to see him. I, I would imagine that we're going to see him do some Doraki wall jump stuff. Yeah. Uh, he, he's, like, the only t uh, current player that tries to actively set that up, like, at least at the top of the game. Yeah, he's um, definitely insane sometimes. Yeah, it's very cool because it essentially gives but, you a, a wall jump and a double jump off ledge. But Aura taking the first stock with a nice trade for the edge guard. Yeah, Super but solid this could be up. an easy back air, though. Oh. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, backer 165 on Fountain, that's definitely going to kill. That'll, that'll do the trick for sure. Well, I think technically you could try to uh, attack that platform, like Amsa yeah. Tuck it. Yeah. That's a dangerous spot to be on for Moki. He's got no shield. He's got to yeah. be careful. So, yeah, he's just kind of taking to the air for a moment. Yeah. Personally, as Fox, I do like this matchup just because, like, mm. what you can do a lot is you can just wait, laser, yeah. see what Peach is floating at, and kind of like either A, run under her, or just kind of wait for her to throw something out for sure. And, like, you can you can play it as a sort of patient Fox or just, like, sort of a Wally style against the Peach. Yeah. Um, so it's really not that bad. But yeah, once kind of once you so break down, go. it's a good trade. A lot of times, once you break down Peach's like kind of like defensive game, you can kind of mm -hmm. just like keep going at her. Yeah. And just like hopefully, just don't play. Like, I think this is where we're gonna see Moki start to take off with the game, though. Yeah. Like first stock was good. They were kind of feeling each other out. Moki got that up smash on um on a oh on a float. Nice. Sh oh, that was a really good angle, so we could get the hit on that. He almost gets that shine. That was really good, though. If he didn't do that up B angle, he wouldn't have had the opportunity to even try for the shine. Yeah, he did the IBDW, which is a uh, nice little full hop fade back drill. Oh, yeah. Like into the down tilt, which yeah. is oh, super that's, good. Yeah, I can definitely see how that's like an incredible bait. And that's a nice catch. That's definitely not easy. Um, I, I probably playing Peach for a little <laughs> bit, and that yeah. is not an easy forward air to hit. Oh, yeah. he's off stage. A lot of spacing means he's been picking up Peach. Yeah. All right, Aura went for a little early back air, but it looks like he's doing all right here. That's a fair nice. Just down for it. Great edge guard. Doing well, but don't catch you love that? You come back from invincibility and yeah. just catch someone. Yeah, you definitely, it just feels good to catch them. Like, they think they're moving or something, and you just catch them with, like, an up smash or something. It feels great. Yeah. No, or, or is, uh, it was good, but Nogi just sought out the up tilt, got him. Yeah. All right. It's still got an even game, though, but it definitely doesn't feel uh, even, just, like, watching it. I feel yeah. I feel like Moki's kind of, like, keeping a good pace on the game, yeah. but or has been able to, like, chip out stocks. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's just kind of how, like, how the matchup goes sometimes, like, some Fox will like definitely like just destroy Peach at some points, yeah. and then Peach will just get like kind of like that one opening that she needs. Mm -hmm. and this is a tough edge guard to come back from. Uh, it was really good though from both players, honestly. Like where you're seeing the uh, the back airs from Moki, and then even the chase on the up air. That was um, a great chase. It was a really good chase. He called out the uh, edge cancel on the up beat. Yeah, but it was really good for Mora actually, like just doing all of that. Yeah, know? made himself hard to kill for sure. So uh, he kind of picks the FD here. Yeah. Personally, honestly, as a Fox main, I do not mind FD versus Peach. I don't mind it. It's just something that's going to focus more into a laser game for sure. Yeah. Um, but here's where it gets. Oh, never mind. He dropped it. Yeah. But you know, that's that's what you're going to try to see uh, from the Peach here is, is those type of grab attempts to get chain grabs going. Um, you pretty much can just get a Fox up to like 110 from yeah. chain grabs um, if you just get him at any point on the stage. So it is a little bit dangerous. Yeah, Peach 100% wants to get to like those knockdown attempts. Mm -hmm. She wants to be able to tech chase. Yeah. She wants to get to this. He wants this to start up. Now he's probably going to go for a Nair. Good DI though. And is he going to catch it? Good cover. Oh, okay. good that, coverage right that was a really good like mix up on the drift too from Moki, honestly. Yeah. So you couldn't tell really if he was going left or right till it was pretty close and the reaction from Aura was fantastic on it. Yeah. Moki getting a nice, the nice drill off edge. Yeah, the classic. Almost gets the grab. That would have been the kill there for sure. Yeah. Forward throw would have killed. Would yeah. it have with good DI? Yes, absolutely. At 146 next to the ledge. Yeah, I know. Sometimes it just doesn't go anywhere, and I'm just like, wow. This is what Moki wants here to try to like at least eke out yeah. some percent. Um, he definitely did not want that forward tilt though. I'm sure that was an up tilt that he just didn't get the input on. Grab the turnip, nice. Mm. Nice, Ooh. that's sick. That's amazing. I love that. See, see, he sets yeah. up for the dorky wall jump, and like you're gonna absolutely see that against him uh, on floaties like Peach. Um, I'd be surprised if he doesn't like try for it at least one more time to yeah. get a punish off his up smash. Yeah, I can respect the down throw because mm. there isn't much you can really get off up air at this point anymore. And there Besides, we go. Like, He's got to go off stage. Yeah. He doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. You do that one no di just to see if you can catch him back air and air. Ooh. Great reverse back air. Yeah. 
Drop slash is good. Yeah, all right. Solid chain grab from Aura. Yeah. So far, uh, counter pick's looking good. Milky's trying yeah. to get in. He's eaten stage up at ooh. least, but ooh, Aura commits for that down he smash. It would have been good. Yeah. It would have been a good down smash of a hit, but nice back. Nice back. <laughs> oh, he's got the wall jump. See? Yeah. He's just going to keep doing it. Because like, the big I thing, too, it. is Peach is going to want to recover high. Yeah. That gives you the opportunity to punish high where you normally wouldn't have it. Yeah, for sure. Like, he definitely is going to, like, probably, I feel like that's definitely going to call out, like, a drop down at one point. Yep. Ooh. Okay. Got him on the ledge. Puts up the back airs. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Peach in the corner here on the ledge is super rougher. Yeah, and I, I really like how Moki plays it too. He's always like leaving just a little bit towards the yeah. edge of the stage when he does a full hop or like a double jump and just doesn't full, uh, fast fall it or anything. Just sort of like does it as sort of a, uh, you can't pass by this line yeah. to the Peach. Holding Peach at like ledge and you're just holding center change is super great for Fox because mm -hmm. there's not much really she can do to get out of the corner besides maybe you try to like overshoot or something. Right. Kind of call out a landing. Well, that's a dangerous spot for Moki, but he hasn't. All right, he got it. He got it out for sure. All right, Aura could close this. There we go. Nice. And it's going to the ledge. No. Oh, he floated just a little too yeah. low. Good trade though. Yeah. Still has an opportunity to take this though. Like yeah, honestly, one on good grab. Beat. Yeah. You gotta avoid those for sure though. Up throw, up air is gonna. Yeah, mm -hmm. up smash is gonna take it at that percent too. All right. Moki up 2-0. Very well done by both players yeah. though. But Moki, Moki just got the uh, the harder hits honestly. Yeah. Um, he's probably gonna go back to FD. Honestly, it worked but, out well for him. Yeah, I, I think he should. He's got the punish game to make it work. Yeah, I don't think Dreamland's the pick. Honestly, yeah. I think Moki will just like outspeed, outspace him, and yeah. we'll 100%. see. We'll see if that holds true. He's going Dreamland. Yeah, I can understand the losing on your favorite counter pick and then probably trying something else. Yeah, but you gotta you gotta keep believing yeah. yourself too. Like You're that was not bad. Oh, almost got him there. Okay, goes through the up air. Didn't quite get it, but that was a nice nair. And is he gonna get the punish here? Not exactly. Oh. Mm, gets the crash cancel down. Yeah. Super rough. And nair, nice. Yeah. That was easy, that was really easy hard. Cleanup. Yeah, exactly. Like for Moki, there's not really anything you can do. You kind of just need to eat it, get ready to di it. Yeah. Oh. Where's the nair? Okay. Moki's applying some awesome pressure here. Aura tries to get back into center and putting out some fares. Oh, he doesn't. Yeah. Get it. He didn't go for the up air on that one. Yeah. I wonder if just missing the first one made him less confident. Moki doing a good job right there, staying kind of under him, waiting for like him to can't leave down with his float, then just gets the nair. Yeah. Do you see what he did? He did a rising um, up air and then was still able to get a backer out. Who almost calls out the float. Yeah, that won't kill yet, but <laughs> another one might. <laughs> and oh, okay. That's good. I mean, sometimes people miss the ledge snap from a shine like that. Yeah. Um, so it's good for Mogi just to even go for it in general. Um, see, like, especially, especially when you're close to the ledge, it's harder to get the snap. Especially against Peach because she doesn't have like the jump speed that like Falcon or like Falco could have to like kind of cover it. Oh yeah, absolutely. She can't do a rising area a lot of that. Um, backers? Yeah. Is he gonna do it? Ooh. He does it. Nice. That was really good. Great turn up. Uh, we saw him go for that in the previous game. He didn't quite get it, but that time definitely shows he can nail that. Yeah, or super oh, solid with his edge guards and everything. Nice. Okay, this is looking good. Edge guard opportunity. This could be it. Yep. Moki tries to get back on stage though. It was a worthwhile attempt, honestly. Yeah. Like if he got on stage, you could have put out a shield before the attack hit him. Uh, like after the down air. Yeah, this game's looking pretty good for Auras. Yep. Counter perking working out. He he's doing real well right now. Um, kind of giving Moki room to like chase him a little bit, if yeah. that makes sense. Where like see that right yeah. there. Catching his dash forward. Exactly. Now, yeah. dash attack up here. Oh, Ooh, it takes a good trade. Yeah, uh, he's got ledge for sure. Oh, Ooh, he's out of there. That's a you don't see that kind of tech club, honestly. Not not too much from like a player like Moby. Yeah, I oh. love what he's doing here. <laughs> that speaks to me. <laughs> and yeah, that's there. Okay. Scared. All right. So super solid I wonder, game. I wonder what Moki likes. Um, he likes Yoshi's. I love Yoshi's versus Peach personally. Yeah, I'd rather go there than like Pokemon. Mm -hmm. But uh, All right. Pokemon's also like obviously a super solid pick. It's sort of FD esque in its ways too. Yeah. Oh, nice. That was great pressure. Like just right off the bat, Or <laughs> puts up his shield, probably thinking he's gonna get lasered or something. Then he gets shine, jump, wave land, shine, grab. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Who gets the meaty down smash? Okay. 
right, good, good down smash yeah. on that. He gets a fair down. Yeah, that's the classic Peach, honestly. They under they accidentally undershoot their Nair. You crouch cancel it and just take, kill him for yeah. it. Oh, that was great. That was a good setup where he just got the down tilt. Um, really like seeing more and more use of that move, honestly. Mm. Mogi's he's playing like right a now. Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> he's, yeah, he's doing one aerial coming up. He's doing another aerial coming Ooh. down. I don't know what happened there, but uh, yeah, I love it. Honestly, it's super sick because honestly, something cool Fox can do actually is he can do the double jump back air and he can th actually throw it one more before he lands. Oh, really? Yeah, it's something you can do to like cover a lot of ed like, edge guarding options. Yeah, yeah. And I think we're seeing that from Mogi too. He's definitely putting out some back airs right before he lands on stage when he double jumps in your ledge. Yeah. Up there. Okay, good DI. Okay, that was a good nair coming out of that. Got at least some percent on Moki. Yeah. There, nobody's getting like any big punish this year. He goes for the up air, gets that one, but good Moki DI, just though. calls out and is gonna come on top of you here. I mean, jump right on your head. Yeah, Moki playing back a little bit. I like the full hop nair. Oh, is that smart? That wasn't smart. Mm, yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't think he needed to air dodge there. Yeah, at least not the way he did. Yeah. Like maybe maybe he was just like mashing something. Yeah. This probably is, the best air dodge would probably would just been down. Yeah, it goes straight down. Honestly, that's not a bad option sometimes because you do get a lot of quick movement, like um, just like straight down when you do that air dodge. You don't you don't retain the momentum from it, but it does kind of like you know jump you down a little bit. Yeah. A little harder for edge guards. Ooh, I like that he charged that. Tries actually. to kick him. Yeah, that would have been good too because you could trade with that fair. Um, yeah. He really wouldn't have gotten much more out of it though than positioning, honestly, and yeah. like loss in percent. Calls uh, out the landing. What's that? He calls out his landing from the float. Yes. The up smash. Yep. And actually, something forward smash is actually really good versus floaties, especially when they try to drift down the ledge because it actually will catch them. Mm -hmm. Now Moki's playing this laser game here, which is really smart. I mean, again, when you're at this type of percent, uh, there we go. Um, when you're at a percent like 110, you're dealing with a peach on a stage like this. I mean, yeah, yeah you should just play the laser game. Just like get your little dings in, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Trying every, to like everything counts really. Sending your leads a lot easier as Fox than Peach. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just and I love the way Moki's playing this. He's got no float. He's um, kind of just holding center, lasering, taking his one by one, one by one hits instead of going for anything big. Mm. Yeah. Moki's he's playing it in this way now that like Aura has to come in. Yeah. And yeah, there it is. that's tough. When you're in that position, it's like you're playing their game. Yeah. So it's definitely really tough. Yeah. Yeah. It's super rough for Peach. Yeah. But I love the way that Moki's Moki's down tilts were fantastic. Yeah. Uh, where you know he would just do like a um, he'd be waiting like on the bottom left or bottom right of a, one of the side platforms. Yeah. And just putting out those down tilts to catch any like landing from an aerial or a float um, or dash in, and it worked out really well.